and Lucha Libre. Huerza Guerrero, one of the strongest warriors. 12 years in EMLL, another 15 years in AAA. Spent time in CMLL, IWRG for the better part of 10 years as well, an independent star, a trainer. Very slick in the ring. And has a lot of signature moves, sends on back splashes, likes to hit single leg crab submissions as well. 40 years as a pro, he's even got more experience than his tag team partner Sky D Sr. in addition to Discovery. Not together, individually. And he is still performing at a very high rate at a high level today in main events like this. And move for move, he is hard to stop. And Discovery tries to take advantage of the situation. Discovery, a pro for 30 years, spent time in AAA. Both men at one time were... Uh, actually, it was Discovery who has spent some time in... Uh, I believe it was World Wrestling Federation as well, as part of a movement that involved a lot of Lucha Libre athletes at the time. Both men at one point were trying an arm drag at the same time and fell backwards, but neither man was able to score an advantage. Discovery's one of those kinds of guys that even when he's hurt, he's even better than most guys are 100% healthy. And he can wrestle an entire match Probably on his own with literally any opponent of any shape or size. He's so versatile in the ring, very quick, and is constantly one of the top lightweight, cruiserweight, no matter how you want to describe him, athletes inside of an LX ring or any Lucha Libre ring. And recently, Discovery shared a ring with Eco Del Santo and Rey Mysterio Jr. en route to a victory at a big super show that was local in the area not too long ago in another competing promotion. But right now, it's the dirty tactics of the revolution Sky Day that prevents Discovery from doing more damage. And we might be moments away from seeing Discovery and Sky Day square off as they have a bit of a bickering war of words. Although Sky Day is not the legal man, but that shot right there was intentional. And Discovery's had enough. He's going to go after Sky Day on the floor. They're brawling in front of the first row of fans right now. And Discovery takes a fall right there by the bar. And a cheap shot by Prince Aguerrera to Triton while Sky Day sends Discovery into the post. Oh no! The undercarriage of Triton has been damaged badly by Prince Aguerrera. The Rudos are trying to win this match quickly now that they have Triton in the ring alone. Triton, one of CMLL's top high flyers. But against these two athletes for the combined 65, 70 years experience, how are you going to stop these two in any fight? They are that disciplined, that crafty, and they are very good with their hands and feet. And again, the double team is too much for Tritone. 
We're not about to see any high flying moonsault presses or Spanish flies or topes at this rate of street. Tone takes a horrible fall in front of the first row of fans on the left hand side of the screen. Discovery in the ring against two rotos at once, and his chances have not improved because the numbers are against him. Espuerza Guerrera has some very, very strong, lethal strikes, and he's hitting for the fence. Back body trout, and Discovery's been laid out badly in the middle of the ring. Baseball slide drop kick sends three tall right here, right in front of camera view, and he is hurt. The two on one continues in the ring. Discovery is in a lot of trouble. Even had our DJ Javier trying to help out Triton here. But I don't think Triton's in a hurry to get in the ring against these two at the same time. He doesn't stand much of a chance. Discovery sent outside of the ring badly. Main event, one fall. Where's Sagarera has just celebrated 40 years in Lucha Libre. And he wants to celebrate it with a win, no doubt about it. A loss in this match is unacceptable, and he wants to leave this ring not only with the victory, but the deciding pinfall or submission. Anything less would be unsatisfactory. And again, Lerza Guerrera is being a bully in this ring, and Skyday, I think, has motivated Fuerza Guerrera to fight even that much harder. Again, Discovery takes a horrible fall on the floor, and Triton joins him on the outside. What is Triton doing? He's sending his partner in there? He doesn't want any part of this. He gave up already. It's like, forget this. Discovery is like a ping pong ball on a table tennis. Something or other table or about one sort of another. Devastating shot right there. The legs collapse, the boots hit both eardrums. His balance is off center. Leg grapevine, and then he yanked that ankle and leg right out of its socket. This is a sick dominant sort of a, a clean, clean sweep we're seeing here by Marunos. Dropped hole, but Discovery ran out of it. But Scotty would not allow Discovery to run any further. Triton trying to tell Discovery that he can help him, but Discovery had to leave the ring legally for Triton to enter. And now first Aguerrero's begging off, but then he gave him a cheap shot for his troubles. That wasn't very nice. Why, do the, why does this have to happen this way? Triton in the corner. Janetta misses. Stepping hurry, Kudrata. Triton has finally got him the technical, so a little bit of breathing room. Triton thinks he feels like the better matchup is him against Sky Day, and that might be the case. I think Scotty says he loves everybody. That was a very nice, clean, gentle way of saying how much he loves the fans. I could be wrong, but I, uh, I don't know. It's a long story. Here we go, back and forth. Scotty in the blue, white, silver, and gold trim. We've got Triton in black, red, and green trim with the white mask. Skyda has the horns on his mask. Authentic Lucha Libre Mexicana in this main event. And spring back elbow to Nani. A nice snapping Eric and Rana again. And Triton might take a chance here. But Skyda has already taken his liberties. And I think he wants the Cerveza or something else. And now the switch. We have Discovery and Fresa Guerrera in the ring. One on one yet again. Main event tag team match. And I think that 
The feeling out process is over. And now it's about time that we sort out who is the better between these two professors of Lucha Libre. Discovery has a new friend out there. Will they kiss? That's another story. Discovery is very, very uh, dis distracted by some of the ladies in the crowd as the two collide. But Fuerza Guerrera with a nice elbow smash. Both of these men very good with submissions. At any moment, they could lock one in and end the match instantly for their team. And the matchups favor Fuerza Guerrera in this sequence and Tritone against Kaede potentially. At least that was what we noticed in earlier action in this bout. Uh oh, Skyday just kicked his own partner, and Discovery has tripped on Skyday. Tilt the wheel backbreaker! Entry total almost put away Skyday right there. We got a free for all, all four of the ring, double drop kick, sent Skyday, and Fuerza Guerrero to the outside. Tree Tone going for it all! He puts a stop to it. Discovery with a splash! On to Fuerza Guerrero on the outside. Oh my! Big time splash on the outside by Tree Tone to Skyday and Discovery is as well as uh, Fuerza Guerrero getting very up close and personal with one of the female fans on the floor. Um, that was something. Triton's the only one standing over here. The controversy continues. And we got a fight outside. Super kick by Triton to Sky Day. But Fuerza Guerrero against two men, trying to hold his own. Oh, Guerrero moves out of the way. Discovery eats the chop. And now we've got bickering among the Technicos. You better get along or you're going to lose. We're going back in the ring now, but Triton again is sending his hurt partner in the ring instead of himself. What kind of partner is Triton in this match? The king of the seven seas. Discovery is cinched in a submission hold on Fuerza Guerrero, but he refuses to give up. And Skyday breaks that up instant pretty quickly. Skyday, double leg takedown. Trying to hold down his adversary. Modified death lock has been applied. An inverted figure four. And Triton punts. Sky right in the spine to break that hole. Triton going for it all. Sky trying to counter. Look at the power of Triton holding him up for long periods of time before that snapping powerbomb drop. And Fuerza. Guerrero breaks it up. Back and forth action. New matchup. Fuerza Guerrero against Triton. Atomic drop. And he's going for that double leg crab. He's used this to defeat a multitude of opponents before. Discovery's got a choice. Can, will he break it up? Yes, he does. He had to break the rules in order to save his partner. Arm ringer. Now has him totally stretched right here. Combination abdominal stretch with a neck crank. Fuerza Guerrero trying to sneak out of it. And Skyday tries to stomp him in the thigh. And that breaks the hole. And Skyday, again going for that inverted figure four, I believe. And he's locked it in yet again. But Discovery, I think, is trying to switch the position. Discovery not giving up. Tritone has a chance to save his partner, but instead is waiting. A lot of very questionable behavior on the part of Tritone in this match. Not showing a lot of allegiance. Oh my! 
and one fell swoop over the top rope. A huge trophy con Iwo on a Scotty on the outside. Backdrop bomb here. Trying to hold him up. First, the Guerrera trying to roll out of it. Victory roll! Does he have him? He got him! Where's the Guerrera? Gerudos win the main event, and Fuerza Guerrera weakened Discovery, and eventually rolled up his adversary for the three count. The 40 years, and he wins in victory tonight.